Now to the second part of example 2.11, that is 2.11.2, 2.11.2. They said another star connected load of this at the power factor. That means to this one, you now have another star connected load. Another star connected load. Another star connected load of 12.81 kilowatts. That is 12.81 kilowatts. That is the input to that one is 12.81 kilowatts. Right. Then with power factor of 0 0.86. Then now you need to determine um you need to determine the current drawn and the power taken from the line. So we want to know the power drawn, the total power drawn by this after another load, the power drawn by WA and WC after another additional load has been connected to the line. Then we want to know the line current also. So what do we do here? We have to first uh, start by, to be able to know the the, the power that is drawn. We need to four, four, find the capacity that uh, of each one, then we find the total capacity together. From there, we'll split it into two to get the active and the reactive power. Right, so let's start with for the motor itself. <clears throat> the motor itself, let's say the capacity of the motor is equal to P motor divided by cos phi motor. Right, which is the uh, P is equal to S cos phi, like I you already know. The, then the <clears throat> the capacity will now be what is the what is the power that is uh, input into the motor. We calculated it to be twenty two divided by the power factor for the motor, which is zero point eight two. That gives us what well, that give us twenty seven point eight four eight at angle 34.9292 degree KVA. That is the uh, power, uh, the capacity of that motor. Then we need to know the capacity of the other ad additional load that is connected in star. And that also for the additional load that is connected in star is what is P load by cos phi load All right so what is the p load that is that is <clears throat> the input into it also is 18.0 <clears throat> sorry that this is the output sorry the input into that one is 12.81 that is the what is the power that is uh, uh, drawn by that load that's that okay. so that will be 12 Point eight one over the power factor as given zero point uh, eight six. So this will give you the capacity of that load to be fourteen point eight nine five at angle thirty point six eight thirty point six eight degrees kva. So that is the capacity of that. So now we know the capacity of the motor. We know the capacity of the load. So we are going to add the two together to give us the total capacity. The total capacity then will be what? Will be the capacity of the motor plus the capacity of the load. So when you add these two together, the capacity together, you get what? 42.716 at angle 33. Point four four degree KPA. That is the capacity, the total capacity, which if you split into two, 42.716 cos this, which gives you 35.644 minus J23.541 KBA. So this is the uh, the, the 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 real power that is that is being drawn, the actual power. And this one is the reactive power. And this is the power that we are asked to determine. Right. 
Then the next thing they were asked to um, determine the line current. To determine the line current, we know that our S, that is the capacity of total load on the line, is equal to root 3 line voltage times line current conjugate. So if you substitute what is our total capacity, it is 42.716, 42.716 kilo kVA, which is times 10 to power 3, is equal to root 3 times what is the line voltage given in the question is 380. So that will help us to find what is our IL conjugate. Our IL conjugate gives us what? Give us 112.411 at angle 33 degrees amps. So that means our I our real IL then will be what? 112.411 at angle minus 33 degrees amps. That is the, the question being answered, line current that is asked. Thank you.